This is Thursday's Kitco Gold Report and day two of Fed Chair Yellen's testimony. Gold continues to slide and our next guest says that there may be outside factors weighing on gold. Phil Striebel joins us now from the CME. Phil, thanks so much for being on the show. Thanks for having me. So Phil, let's look at gold uh, hitting its lowest point since November, also trading far below the 50-day and 200-day moving average. What are the outside factors that you speak of that are weighing on gold? Well, I think that the biggest push down on it was the Chinese equity markets. We saw them under a lot of, uh, you know, the bright light here over the last couple of weeks. Uh, really, the problem is, is that there were restrictions on their liquidation policies, and we couldn't see uh, Chinese investors liquidating some of their equity stocks. So what they did was they came in and they started liquidating a lot of their longer term holdings, which was in physical metals, uh, a lot of silver, a lot of gold. All those had pushed it down. Once we travel below those 250 day moving averages, we saw momentum continue to pick up as well as the problems in Greece, we saw no real safe haven demand from a currency aspect. And the reason is, is that uh, as the euro started to decline, it pushed the dollar index up. So it would hurt an investor, especially a, a U.S. investor, to go into the gold market because of the fact you're going to have that headwind from the rising dollar index. And I'm going to get back to uh, this safe haven uh, question of whether gold's a safe haven in a second. But lagging the investment demand has obviously been uh, dragging down gold. Uh, do you think the emerging markets are gold's last hope? Well, I think it is definitely a key. Um, we've, we're seeing in India right now, they're coming into some harvests and, you know, some of the crops, they've been doing a lot better than expected. They're seeing their wheat crop. They're also seeing their sugar crop. Uh, because of that and because of some rising prices lately in those crops, um, they're going to have additional capital that they can use into the Q4 and as we come into the wedding season. So I think that, you know, emerging markets are going to look at gold as more of an undervalued asset right now now and they'll start to allocate some of their funds into it as they always have. So Phil, how do you play this gold market right now? Well, I think that you do have to look at momentum and you do have to look at the longer term trend. I mean, you know, there, there's no getting around it. Gold prices have been declining for quite a while now. They're well below $1,200. We're right at a, a critical level of support. We've hit this 1147, 1143. We're in the 1140s again here today. I think if we break that, I think you're going to see a quick washout down to 1125 and even possibly 1100. I think that a shorter term player will look at selling rapidly rallies in that market, um, you know, using, you know, key levels like stops. But I think that any kind of reversal back up on gold, I think, is just a bull trap at the moment here. And I think that gold prices are probably going to be in a downward funk here for just a short while longer. So yesterday we had another market strategist on, uh, Baba Horowitz, who was saying, look, gold's not a safe haven. It's never been a safe haven, nor a currency. Do you agree? Yeah, I well, you know, I love uh, Baba quite a bit. I respect him highly. The thing with gold here is that safe haven is is more investor per perception here. We saw in times of Lehman Brothers, we saw gold shoot up about $40 an ounce the day that they declared um, that they were going, uh, you know, insolvent. But in times like 2008, when the equity markets were slashed in half, gold really got no uh, rally whatsoever. So safe haven is something that comes and goes, you know, and, it, and a lot of it is is where does it lie in comparison to other markets like the bonds, like the U.S. dollar? And, you know, gold, it'll have its day again. You mark my words on that, where it will be perceived as a safe haven asset. But right now, it looks like gold is not a safe haven play whatsoever. All right, Phil, last quick thought from you. We saw the ECB and Mario Draghi not raising rates, not moving rates at all today. Uh, do you think uh, Yellen will follow suit here? Yeah, I think that they're, they're too uh, concerned here with Greece. But I do think that in the U.S., I think Yellen is going to raise rates here in September. We'll most likely see another rate hike in December. And then I think in 2016 is when they really accelerate. And at the end of 2016, we see that uh, target rate up near 3%. So I think interest rate rise cycle uh, is about to get going. Phil, thanks so much for your thoughts today. Thank you. And thanks for watching Thursday's Kitco Gold Report. We'll see you tomorrow.